Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mathena here. I just wanted to get a few things out of the way. Um, first off, this is all of my D&D TikToks from September to December because my last compilation from 2021 was in August. So this is from September to December. And a few things to get out of the way. Um, none of my Maxwell Descent into Madness videos will be on here. And also... Uh, any stitches or duets that I've done also will not be on here because there were a lot. And uh, I'm trying not to make this video too extremely long. But uh, once I finish um, the latest arc for Maxwell Descent into Madness, I will have a complete compilation from part one all the way up to the newest part um, once it's finished. So, just wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, other than that, hope you all enjoy the video. You ready to die? No. Then I'll come back later. Winds in the east. Miss coming in. Like something is brewing. About to begin. Can't put me finger on what lies in store. But I feel what's to happen. All happened before. Well, I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you. You look like a snake! Yes! What? What the fuck? What are you doing about it, Jack shit? I'm leaving. This next clip contains profanity, so, yeah. Eric, did you just say the F word? You? No, he's talking about fuck. You can't say fuck in school, you fucking fat ass. Kyle! Why the fuck not? Eric! Dude, you just said fuck again! Stanley! Who? Kenny! What's the big deal? It doesn't hurt anybody. Fuck, fuck, it, fuck, fuck, fuck. How would you like to go see the school counselor? How would you like to suck my balls? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, what I said was... How would you like to suck my balls, Mr. Gershie? Holy shit, dude. seen everything that has ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? How did you run out of fuel that quickly? I emptied it out. Emptied it? Why? To make room for the tuna. What, are we gonna fight the sun? I was making a joke! This place is great, you know? It's whimsical and fun. What are you looking at, motherfucker? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, here comes the answer now. Um, according to my calculations, you can do... Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Why didn't you tell me that before I jumped out his head? Well, my calculations were not yet finished. Oh, should we leave it alone? Should we back off? Should we play it safe? Nah, you think let's make it bigger! Just stay calm. You already have everything you need to beat it. The power to believe in myself? No, a knife! Stab it! Ow! What the hell are you doing, Cartman? I'm killing you. But unfortunately, I could only afford a wiffle bat, so it's gonna take a while. Cartman! Don't fight it, Kyle. It will only take longer. Just slip into sweet unconsciousness. Go outside. No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Goodness, you're home. Someone called in sick at work, and I gotta cover this shift. Can you watch him? Oh, I can't. I'm busy. With what? You don't have a job. I got a bunch of stuff to do around the house. It's Bugs' house. I promised my girlfriend I'd help her out. I'm your girlfriend. Well, then I'll watch the baby. Well, that one kind of backfired on me. Alright, so... I've been seeing the whole pen premonition thing on TikTok. And, uh, I don't have pens. 
But um, I'm going to... Um, I'm inspired by a D&D &D content creator who I will tag in this video. And if they react to this video, that would be great. But I'm just going to do the pen premonition, but with dice. Just like this person did. As I, this is also going to be related to my session tomorrow, which I am thinking about live streaming on my TikTok. I do need to talk to uh, my players first and see if they're okay with this. But you guys may be getting a, uh, a live stream tomorrow here on TikTok, so stick around. Okay, with this rainbow D20, if I make it in, the party's going to die first session. Okay, good. Okay, Glitter D20, if I make this in, my players will follow every single plot hook that I give them and not stray off any path. Crap! Okay, Red D20, I'm just randomly picking dice. Um, if I make this, one of my players will seduce a random NPC that they meet. Okay, good. Okay, Black D20, if this makes it... Not the entire party, but one party member will die in the very, very first session. Okay, that's good. Okay, clear D20. If this makes it in, then the party will make friends with the BBEG first session. Hmm. Okay, blue D20. If I make this in, my party's gonna do something super duper crazy uh, first session. And somehow, some frickin' way, they're gonna pull it off. Well then. Uh, they're more than likely gonna do that regardless. They, they never cease to amaze me. Okay, red D20. There were two D20s that came in the set. If I make this in, it's gonna be a great session tomorrow. Hey, look! It went in! Yay! Oh my god, I think I just found the funniest spell ever. So, I am creating a cleric. Uh, the session ended up having to get pushed back to tomorrow. I still need to talk to my players and see if they'd be cool with a TikTok live stream. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm creating a cleric because, you know, um, I kind of accidentally turned what was the cleric into something completely different. So, gotta make a new one. It's cool, though, because I love creating characters. So I'm scrolling through the spells, because I need to, you know, obviously I need to pick a spells and whatnot. And this is a cantrip. I don't know. This is definitely homebrew. It looks like something that is definitely homebrew. I don't know who made it, but whoever did, you are freaking awesome. It's called Face Palm Evocation Cantrip. There's all the stuff. You slap your head with a mighty magical power, alerting every creature within a 600-foot radius that something disappointing has happened. Guys, I just did something. So, I'm creating a healer, right? Um, that's how I found the, the funny cantrip and whatnot. But I'm, you know, I created my level 7 healer, uh, cleric, life domain. I decided to make her a dragonborn. I was testing out some of the new stuff, right? Like, there's these new, like, gem dragonborns and whatnot. So I went with an amethyst, you know dragonborn and this is what came out so of course i always create art for my any npc or any character that i play and she's so fucking hot why i was just toying around with stuff and i made her hot like seriously if this were if, the, if i was in a fantasy world i would i would get with her i'd spend the night with her if you know what i mean you better go when you see Joe Byron in the Oval Office. I'm gonna give him a big old kiss. Hey, yo! How about these? Ah, oh, my fucking knees! Get crowbarred, bitch! Thanks for the crowbar, Foxy. Foxy, what the fuck? I don't know, I'm bored! Hey! I'm gonna give you a chance for y'all to lay down your firearms in exchange for preferential, bordering on gentle, possibly even lover-like treatment. Oh, they shot it down! What the fuck? I left my hentai collection in that fucking helicopter! Come on, motherfuckers, I'm a tank! <laughs> the final act is sure to be a theatrical plot twist worthy of a prize. Want a shot? You better be more tactical. Messing with Van Tokyo is never wise. I've had enough of you, so won't you be my puppet? On a string, I've had enough of you. Oh, 
Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching my little 2021 late D&D TikTok video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, join the notification station, the whole shebang shaboodle, the whole king caboodle, if you know what I mean. And with all of that out of the way, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.